and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are so excited to be introducing Simply Celebrate Fall and its coordinating dies. This is the latest in our Simply Celebrate series and I just love it. We're also going to be introducing Simply Fall Sentiments that is a great match for the set, but it's also just a great fall and Halloween set to use with a lot of other stamp sets you might have in your stash. So let's go ahead and check out Simply Celebrate Fall. And first up, we have this adorable row of pumpkins. Then we have some super cute ghosts, some candy corn, a row of acorns, and some cute fall leaves, my favorite, and then these really great apples that would be awesome for teacher cards. This set also has a sentiment that says, have a happy fall, and a cute little smiley face that you can add to a lot of these images. Now here is the Simply Fall Sentiments, and it has some great sentiments. We have Happy Halloween, hope you have a spooktacular day, wishing you a very sweet day, boo, we have so grateful for you, and then when things get a little nutty, which really cracks me up with the acorns, we have you are the apple of my eye, and also thanks. And then this set has a cute little smiley face. It's a little different than the smiley face included in Simply Celebrate Fall, and it even has some cute little rosy cheeks that you can add around the smiley face. And then here is a look at the two stamp sets, and as you layer them, you can see what a great match these sentiments are. They're the perfect length for putting right underneath those cute Simply Fall Celebrate images. Next, I'm gonna be using my Copic marker to add some color to these fun images, and I just love coloring in pumpkins. For these pumpkins, I'm adding a little bit of color at the bottom, and then just blending that color up towards the top, and these are so much fun to color in. One of the things that I love about the Simply Celebrate images is that they're a long strip of images that you can die cut with one die, so not a ton of die cutting, which helps it create easy to reproduce and really cute simple cards. You can also use these images and integrate them into the scenes of your cards, and we're gonna be showing you a lot of those different ideas there. But this little row of pumpkins, oh my gosh, it's so cute, and it is the perfect little scene creator. You can have some little critters popping out from behind those pumpkins, and that's so cute. Or you could just have a pumpkin card and have a cute sentiment like the So Grateful For You underneath, some pretty patterned paper, and you are done with a gorgeous card. Now for these little ghosts, I'm using some cool gray markers, and I'm just adding my darkest gray just around kind of the outside edge, and then I'm blending it out kind of into nothing on the ghosts. You could also just leave the ghosts plain white, or just use a very, very light gray marker, just one of them to just outline the edges of the ghosts. They may look really nice outlined in a very light blue as well that would make the white of the ghosts pop. I also love adding little rosy cheeks to the ghosts. I think it just makes them look so cute. Next up, we're gonna add some color to the candy corn. And I have to tell you, every time it comes back towards fall and Halloween and I'm coloring candy corn again, I always have to Google it. I can never remember, is it the yellow at the bottom or the orange? But it's the yellow. <laughs> so I'm gonna add the yellow at the bottom, adding a little bit of shade to one side and then blending out. The other thing I like about these images is you don't even really have to shade them. You could just add some yellow, some orange, and leave the top white to make it quick and easy and they would look really, really great like that too. But this is really, really simple shading and I already had my markers out from my pumpkin so I can just keep going and create these cute little candy corn. And then I'm going to use one of those light gray markers from the ghost and just add a little bit of shadow along the white. Now we're going to go along to the acorns and Shari later on in the video makes the cutest card with these little acorns. I just think they're just adorable and so we're just going to shade those out like that. And acorns are my son's favorite. He loves collecting them and he's very sad that there's no acorns in the neighborhood right now. So I keep telling him he has to wait until fall for more acorns. So maybe I'll have to die cut him some of these acorns so he can have at least these cute little stamped out ones. So we're going to blend that out there. So a little dark on the edge and blend it out with the light marker, keeping it nice and simple. Now the fall leaves are a really, really fun place to add a lot of fall color. So I'm taking out a bunch of different markers and just kind of picking, mixing and matching, not worrying about the order because they're going to look gorgeous no matter what. One of my favorite things to do with the fall leaves is to add the smiley face to them. I think they look really, really cute with a smiley face in them. I decided to add a little green into the fall leaves because I thought that pop of green just really kind of made all of the other colors pop as well. And then I'm going to add an orange leaf there at the very end because I just, I just really love that bright orange. It's so pretty. 
Now for the apples, I'm gonna stick with a classic red, but I think these would look really nice if you mixed and matched like red, green, and that kind of yellow green color of apple. I think it would look just gorgeous. These apples are really fun to mix and match with the new Absolutely Awesome stamp set too. And I think they're really, really cute for teacher cards as well. So I love this little row of apples. And once again, I'm just adding a little bit of shading on one side and then blending it out towards the other, trying to keep it kind of simple um, and just really, really cute. So we're gonna add the red there and then a nice pop of green for the leaves. And so you'll see I'll kind of add a little bit of green to all the leaves and then blend it out with my three colors. And now all of these images are all colored in and we're ready to die cut. So these are the coordinating dies from the stamp set which you can bend apart at the tabs or use your wire snips to separate. We're going to take those dies and line them up with our stamped images, hold them in place with some low tack tape, run it through the die cut machine and we'll have these perfectly cut out little rows of fall and Halloween themed icons. So cute and so fun. And then here is a look at all of these images together. And now it is time to start creating a card and we're going to be recreating a card by Tammy that is so gorgeous. I'm starting here with some white cardstock at five and a half by four and a quarter, and we're gonna create a cool spooky purple background. And so we're gonna have the edges be darker and the middle be lighter. So we're using Dusty Concord on the outside edges and then milled lavender towards the inside. Now to make any Halloween background look super spooky, all you need to do is add some black ink to the edges. So we're gonna add some black ink to the edges and then go back in to the dark purple to kind of blend it out just a little bit. And you'll see now it looks super spooky. Next, we need to add some texture. So I'm gonna spray some water onto my mat and pick up that water with my paintbrush. Then I'm going to tap the edge of this acrylic block with the paintbrush, letting that water splatter out. And this is a technique by Rebecca here at the office and it makes tiny little splatters. It helps you kind of control the splatters. So if you're worried about your splatters, try tapping on the edge of an acrylic block because it really creates a cool look. So we're gonna add some water. I picked it up with a paper towel just to dry it up for some texture. And now here I have some Copic White. You you can use white acrylic paint as well. I mixed it with some water and we're doing the same thing, tapping the edge of the acrylic block to create some really cool splatters. And then last but not least, we're going to add some black watercolor paint splatters. So I'm gonna mix up that paint with some water and do the same exact thing. We're gonna tap that on the edge of the uh, little acrylic block there and create some really cool texture on this spooky background. So we put the background aside to dry a little bit and now we're gonna start creating the card. And first up, we're gonna die cut a stitched rectangle scalloped frame out of some white cardstock. And this white cardstock is gonna have such a nice pop on that really cool black background. So we're gonna add some tape runner to that and then layer that on to the card. And it's gonna create a really cool frame. Next, we're gonna die cut Henry's ABCs. So we're gonna die cut that from some black cardstock and some white cardstock, and we're gonna layer the letters to have a cool little shadow. So we're gonna add some adhesive to the back of the black letter, and then layer it on top of the white one, just shifting it over to the right just a little bit, and you'll see that it gives it this really cool pop once you layer it on the darker background. And this is always a nice technique to do. If you have a darker background, patterned paper, inked background, and you want your letters to pop, add a little bit of a shadow, and it looks looks really, really cool. So we're gonna spell out the words spooky. And then we're gonna take out some images from Simply Celebrate Fall. So we've got pumpkins and ghosts. And we're gonna add the pumpkins to the top here to kind of give us a bit of a guideline to do some stamping before we add everything onto the card. So we're gonna layer our pumpkins, then we'll have our die cut letters, and then we're gonna use the Simply Fall sentiments. And we're gonna use the hope you have a spooktacular day. And so we're gonna line that up in our Misty tool here. You'll see we kind of had those letters as a guide and then we can move those letters out of the way. And then we're just gonna stamp that on to our beautiful ink background. Now these pumpkins needed some smiley faces and there's a smiley face in Simply Celebrate Fall and then a different style of smiley face in the Simply Fall sentiment. So we're gonna be using both of these. And I love how Rebecca did this. These are Rebecca's hands right now. She actually added one smiley face to one side of the block and the other smiley face to the other side of the block. So she's just inking it up and flipping it over and moving back and forth between the different smiley faces. And look how cute these pumpkins look as she adds those adorable little smiley faces to them. We'll add a few more smiley faces to the three rows of pumpkins, and now we can start adding these to the card. So we're gonna add some foam squares on the back and then start layering them onto our really cool background. Then we can fit our spooky letters in between the sentiment that we stamped and the pumpkins that we added to the top. So we're just gonna layer those right on there, and you can just see how cute this card is turning out already. It's just such a fun Halloween card. And then we'll be able to layer the rest of our pumpkins with some more foam squares too for a nice, awesome pop. 
Now, you'll see we're going to use our little row of ghosts, but one of the things I love about these images is a lot of them are really easy to cut apart. So we're actually just going to use our scissors here and just cut that little pair of ghosts out, and we're going to just use those little ghosts. And so that's a fun way to use these images as well. And we're going to tuck those little ghosts behind the pumpkins, and I think they just add such a fun pop to this cute card. Now here we have a standard size card base at five and a half by four and a quarter. We're going to add some tape runner to that and then layer the card on top. And this card is all done and it's so cute and so much fun to make. And being able to have that long row of pumpkins die cut just once makes it super quick and easy to make too. Now for our next card, we're going to be using my new favorite paper, and that's the Let It Shine Starry Skies paper. It's so gorgeous, and we're going to be using this really pretty navy color from that, and we're going to be die cutting that with a stitched rectangle. Now this paper is gorgeous as is, and I love that this paper can be used for lots of different occasions, but to make it Halloween-y, we're going to do the same thing we did with the purple background. We're going to add a little bit of black ink to the edges, and just that little bit of black ink gives it this fun kind of spooky feel, and it's so quick and easy to do too. Too, and I think it looks really, really awesome. One of my favorite things about the Simply Celebrate sets is that these images are interchangeable. So we can take those speech bubbles that came out with Simply Celebrate Critters, which came out in summertime, and we can use them with these fall images. And that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to stamp out those speech bubbles. And then we went ahead and shopped our stamp sets for some fun, tiny Halloween sayings. And a lot of our stamp sets have fun little tiny sayings on them. So you can kind of look through your stash and see what might fit in these speech bubbles, whether it's Halloween themed or a lot of other themes as well. And so we're going to stamp out these images in the speech bubbles. And today we are recreating a card by Elena, so thank you so much, Elena. And I'll show you her card at the end of the video, and she used an orange paper in the background, and we're using a blue one. So I love the look of both of the cards. Now here we're just going to take a light blue marker and just add a little bit of shading and shadow to these speech bubbles, and you can see it really helps bring them to life. Then we'll take the coordinating die from the Simply Celebrate Critters, and we can hold that in place with some low-tack tape and run that through the die cut machine, and we'll have that perfectly die cut image that we're going to be able to add into this Halloween card. Now here we're going to use the new Fantastic Friends, and we're going to use the Happy Halloween sentiment from that one, and we're going to die cut that with a sentiment border die, and we're just adding a little bit of shadow to those letters to match and coordinate with the shadow that we added to the speech bubbles. And so here is that sentiment border die, and we're just going to line that up. Now this die was a little bit long, so what we're going to do is we're going to line it up with one edge, and we're going to run it through the die cut machine. And then once that's die cut, we can actually take the die and just shift it over and line up the edge on the left. And that's what I love about these sentiment banner dies is that you can actually customize the size by just running it through your die cut machine twice. So now we have a banner that's the exact size of the sentiment. Then we're going to take out our Simply Celebrate Fall stamp set and we're going to add some ghosts and candy corns on to this card. And we're going to add some foam squares to the back of all of these images so, so they have a really nice awesome pop. So we'll add one row of ghosts, and then we're going to add our speech bubbles and then the ghosts under that. The cool thing is you could have the speech bubbles coming out from the pumpkins with the little smiley faces or the candy corns, the leaves, any of the images in the set, and I think it's such a cute look. Then we're going to add our Happy Halloween banner, and then for a fun pop of color, we're going to add the candy corn at the bottom. Then next up, we're going to take a standard size card base that's five and a half by four and a quarter. We can add some tape runner to that and then layer our card on top. And look how cute this is. So simple, so fun to put together. And I just love that beautiful, shiny, let it shine paper in the background too. It just adds such a fun sparkle to the card. Now next up, Shari is going to share two super cute ideas with this set with more of a fall theme. So take it away, Shari. Today I'm making a mini slimline card using the acorns from the Simply Celebrate Fall stamp set. I'm also pairing that up with some squirrels and some images from Let's Go Nuts. So I've got some squirrels, I'll use the wagon and that pile of nuts. And then I'm going to use the coordinating sentiment in the Simply Fall sentiment set. So I've already colored and cut out my images that I'm going to use. And I have a piece of blue, gotta have gingham paper. And I'm just cutting this to three inches by six inches, which will be the size of my mini slimline. I'm using the stitched rectangle of the same size to cut a piece of cilantro cardstock. And then I will cut out a little grassy border along the bottom. So this will be the grass for all my squirrels to set on. 
I'm adding some adhesive to the back of that piece of gingham paper and going ahead and putting that onto my card base. Now before I put my grass on, I wanted to do a little bit of inking to the tops of the grass. So I'm using some Lucky Clover Distress Ink and a blending brush to just add a little bit of dark color so I kind of have two tones of grass and it doesn't look quite so flat. Then I can go ahead and add this to the bottom of my mini slimline card. And then this will give me a place to add all my little images to create my little scene. So I'm starting out by putting this squirrel that he's going to be throwing acorns off the wagon basically. So I like that his hands are up in the air and I'm putting him on the back of the wagon. And then I'm going to add that pile of acorns from the Let's Go Nuts set to the wagon. So he's basically getting in the wagon and creating a big old mess, <laughs> throwing the acorns around. Then I also have this other little squirrel that looks like he's pulling the wagon. So I will add a dab of glue to his little hand here and just add the handle of the wagon so it looks like he's pulling. So I'm just adding some foam adhesive squares all over the back of this little assembly of images. And I'll add this to the left side of my card. You can see I have that other little squirrel holding a nut. He's going to be tucked behind this line of acorns. So what I'm kind of going for here, it looks like this squirrel is wreaking some havoc and throwing acorns off the wagon and leaving a trail of acorns behind. And then of course this little guy came along and found a free acorn on the ground. So I've got the line of acorns from the Simply Celebrate Fall. And I'm just going to add some thin foam squares to the back of some of these acorns so that it's popped up a little bit off that background. And that squirrel with the acorn in his hand looks like he's behind this line. Then I'm just adding this line behind the wagon like we're leaving a trail of acorns as the squirrel pulls the wagon along. Then I have all these individual acorns from Let's Go Nuts and I'm just going to do the same thing, add a thin foam square and then I'm adding these around that squirrel with his hands up so it looks like he's taking handfuls of acorns and just throwing them up in the air. He's very happy it's fall and he wants to share the acorns with everyone around. So I'm putting it around kind of the top and then also I'm having some fall down behind. So it looks like these are falling down into that line of acorns. And then for this last one, I am going to kind of tuck it behind so it looks like it's falling down into the acorns on the ground. Now for the sentiment, I have two little banners cut from some craft cardstock. And I'm taking the sentiment that says, when things get a little nutty. And I'm going to stamp half on one sentiment banner and half on the other. And I'm just doing this by selectively inking it up onto my ink pad. So you can see I'm only inking up the words that I want to stamp and I have wiped the ink off the other ones. Then I'm going to take the same die I used to cut the banner originally, line it back up, and use the other end to make myself a shorter banner and cut a new little fishtail on the other side. I'm going to do the same for both of these and now I have two little banners that I can stack. Instead of having one long sentiment across this card, I can stack these up and get a different look. And I'm just using thin foam squares to pop that sentiment up off that background. And here is my finished card pairing up those acorns from Simply Celebrate Fall with those cute little squirrels from Let's Go Nuts. So I've stamped out the leaves from Simply Celebrate Fall and I've gone ahead and colored them with my Copic markers and I've colored them in warm fall colors that match the colors of this paper from Sweater Weather that I'm going to use as my background. So this has some oranges and reds and yellows and then I'm actually going to pull in those more aqua tones with some of my other colors that I use. So I've just taken this pattern paper and cut it down to four and a quarter by five and a half so it covers my card base. And then I'm cutting a piece of speckled eggshell cardstock with a stitched rectangle. So this is going to be the panel where my die cut sentiment goes and my leaves. 
I've marked the center of it with my pencil and I'm going to do some really light stamping on the background. So I'm using some sunflower ink and I'm just stamping this line of leaves all over the background and I'm varying where I put the line so it's not completely repetitive. So I will stamp these lines going back and forth. Then I'm going to go in and fill those kind of voids you see at the end of the lines with one single leaf. And I'm making sure that this goes all the way to all the edges so it looks a lot like a piece of pattern paper that I have cut. Now I'm going in with some carrot ink and a blending brush and I'm going to ink up all the way around the edges with some orange. So this really gives the edge of this panel some definition and gives it a lot more interest. And as that yellow sunflower ink of the leaves kind of absorbs into the paper a little bit more, it will even start to tone down a bit more. So you can see how it's going to get covered up a lot by my sentiment and my images. I've cut this sentiment, Giant Happy Fall, from Peacock Paper, and now I'm cutting just the fall part from some rainforest cardstock and I'm trimming off the parts of the word happy so that I just end up with the word fall. And this is gonna allow me to have a sentiment that is two colors, which I just think is a really fun thing to do with these really big sentiments, to have one word, one color, and one word, another. And this is going to pull in those cooler tones, those blues or teals that's in this background paper that I picked out. So I've put that background paper onto my card base. Now I'm going to add some foam strips to my panel that I created. And I'll just line that up in the center. So this is popped up off that background with those foam strips. Now I'm going to add that darker cardstock of the word fall to my die cut sentiment. And then I'm adding some glue to the back of my leaves. My sentiment is not glued down just yet. I want it to kind of overlap my line of leaves that are colored just a little bit. So I've placed my leaves down and I like that this line of leaves is kind of between two of the lines on my background. So it doesn't line up perfectly with any of the leaves in the background, which makes it a bit more dynamic. I'm gluing my sentiment down and then I'm adding some stardust stickles just to the word fall so that it shimmers a little bit and we have a little bit of shine on our card. And then I'll also add a little bit of these stickles to the top edges of my leaves so that they stand out even more from the background of leaves. And then here is my finished fall card. It was really simple and easy to do. I love the look of that pattern paper made from the stamping of that line of leaves in the background. Oh my goodness, Shari. I love both of these cards so much. I love that background you created by stamping the leaves. And then this cute little scene with the squirrel with the acorns is just adorable. Now, next up, we have some incredible cards by the design team. And first up, we have a gorgeous card by Callie. And I love the different colors that she added to the pumpkins. It's absolutely stunning. Maureen incorporated that row of pumpkins into the most adorable fall card. I just love that scarecrow with the mice. And then here, Audrey took those pumpkins and incorporated them into a Halloween scene, which I just love. And that beautiful background she created is just gorgeous. Now, Grace created a peekaboo pop-up card that is just so adorable. She stacked up those rows of acorns, added some cute squirrels, and then as you open up the peekaboo pop-up, you get this great surprise of the big acorn with the squirrel on top, and I think this is just the cutest card. Here is a look at the cards by Tammy that inspired us to make ours today, and I just love the look of the blue and purple backgrounds. And then here, Kara layered the pumpkins to make it look like a pumpkin patch, and she used our brand new giant thank you messages, and it's so gorgeous. I am blown away by Letitia's gorgeous cloudy sky. It's the perfect Halloween scene, and I just love those ghosts. And then here we have a super cute card by Elise where she took those pumpkins and she put them in our stitched wavy backdrop, and I think it's just adorable. I love how Megan mixed and matched different ghosts from different sets to create a really cool spooky Halloween card. And then here Shari combined our awesome barn with the pumpkins and that makes such a gorgeous fall card. 
Here is the card by Elena that inspired us to make ours, and I love how she used a lighter colored orange background. It looks absolutely incredible. Here I love how Lynette layered a bunch of the fall images with the acorns, apples, leaves, and pumpkins. It looks so cute on a card. And this card by Shari is so much fun, and she has created a video for this for September, so you guys are going to have to definitely check that out. And then here I love that Mindy separated the different ghosts and put them into these fun little windows. It's so cute and sweet. So we cannot wait to see what you guys create with these two new sets, so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today, and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!